Welcome to iDiscover. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 travel destinations in Europe in 2023. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to iDiscover and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list we're looking at the most compelling, unique and trendy countries in Europe. When making your 2023 travel plans, this is the list you may want to consider. First on the list of our top 10 European travel video, is Turkey. Or isn't Turkey a European country? Well, as a transcontinental country, located mainly on the Anatolian Peninsula in Western Asia, and with only a small portion on the Balkan Peninsula in Southeast Europe, we consider it to be European. A welcoming choice of archaeological, historic, scenic and recreational attractions blend perfectly with the hospitality of the Turkish people. Besides their friendliness, they always hustle, they will always bargain for the best deal, and to comfort you they will offer you some Turkish coffee. To top it all off, they tend to be very touchy. When greeting you, they will hug you, and even kiss your cheek several times. Istanbul. The vivid, and always very loud and busy capital city of Turkey, is located in the north. The Blue Mosque is an iconic and historical landmark in Istanbul. Once inside, you'll discover where the mosque gotten its name, from the thousands of blue handcrafted Iznik tiles that adorn the interior walls. Escaping this busyness is certainly possible on the Princess Islands. The islands are a stark contrast from the hurly-burly of Istanbul, and because all motorized vehicles are banned, they are an oasis of silence. Transport here is by foot, by horse-drawn carriage or by bicycle. Narrow streets of Victorian cottages constructed in wood, and pine forests, are typical on these islands. Unwinding is also possible in the resort town of Izmir. Dreamy beaches, ancient ruins, and an outstanding natural beauty. This is Turkey's undiscovered gem. Add in tranquil hot springs, and action-packed water parks, and you have the perfect family travel destination, where luxury and hospitality go hand in hand. If you're looking for the time of your life, Izmir will offer you just that. Are you more the adventurer type? Then head over to the ancient rock-carved cities of Cappadocia. Known as one of the best places in the world to be explored from a hot air balloon, the landscape offers fantastic flying conditions. This will allow the balloons to gently go over and between chimneys, pigeon houses nestled into rock formations, and vineyards. The Black Sea region is a real anomaly. It reaches from the northern end of the Bosphorus, just east of Istanbul, to the frontier with Georgia. It will certainly attract your attention and it's guaranteed to smash any stereotypes you may hold about Turkey. The nature and history of the eastern Black Sea region, the cultural heritage, its old streets, the many waterfalls, and other beauties, are all present. They will offer you a very enjoyable and satisfying trip, in a green garden of oxygen. The most attractive places with its magnificent nature, which hosts thousands of local and foreign tourists every year, are Trabzon, and Rize. From a warm, more southern country, with hardly ever any snow, we now go to Scandinavia for the first time. Put on some warm clothes and get ready. With over 100,000 lakes in Sweden, you're never too far from a beautiful lakeside. And thanks to Sweden's right of public access, these serenity-inducing waters are free for all to enjoy. Embark on any number of activities, from refreshing wild swimming and peaceful kayak excursions, to Nordic tour skating and tranquil fishing experiences. Hop on a ferry to explore the many archipelagos along the coast. Just outside of Stockholm and Gothenburg, the High Coast, the West Coast and the Ostgota Archipelago are the most important ones to mention. The exotic tundra of Lapland is ready to be discovered. Swedish Lapland is the rolling hills, and the roaring rivers. The vast woodlands, and rural romance. But foremost, from the mountains to the sea, it is the perfect place for all kinds of adventures we dreamt about as a child. From watching the northern light, seeing the midnight sun in summer, to visiting Santa Claus's village in a reindeer carriage. Or even husky sledging through the Swedish backcountry. The list of possibilities, is endless. Stockholm's 700-year history astonishes, with grand public buildings, palaces, and museums. The capital of Sweden is one of world's most beautiful capitals in Europe. The city is built on 14 islands around one of Europe's largest and best-preserved medieval centers, and stunningly located by the Baltic Sea. Packed with exceptional art galleries, second-hand shops, beautiful bars, record shops that feel like collector's paradises, and restaurants that create innovative and exciting food. 
There are whole neighborhoods with a really creative and trendy vibe. It is a great city if you are looking for fashionable and unique places to discover. Gothenburg, the second biggest city of Sweden, delights as a heaven for seafood lovers. It's worth a visit, but certainly free up enough time to hang out in Aga. You'd never know it today, but this cute neighborhood, southwest of the city center, used to be a slum, with a very seedy reputation. These charming buildings were to be torn down during redevelopment works in the 1970s, but Gothenburg citizens got together to preserve its character. The area of Aga is now the city's hippest neighborhood, and has no shortage of cafes, delicatessens, independent shops and reasonably priced restaurants. In Sweden, you are on top of the world. From Sweden, all the way in the north, we arrive in a country at the crossroads of Central and Southeast Europe. Go to Croatia, and experience the Mediterranean, as it once was. Strung along the stunning coast of Croatia, close to 1200 small islands dot the Adriatic Sea. This new star of the European Union boasts 20 UNESCO heritage sites, and 8 national parks. The first one, the Plaitvis Lakes National Park, is Croatia's most popular tourist attraction. Located roughly halfway between capital city Zagreb and Zadar on the coast, are a definite must-see in Croatia. Next to be granted the title of UNESCO Heritage, was the stunning city of Dubrovnik with its amazing old town. George Bernard Shaw was enchanted by this beautiful city, about which he said, those who seek paradise on earth, should come to Dubrovnik. Often it is famously described as, the Pearl of the Adriatic. To make the list a little longer, we want to add the town of Split. The second largest city in Croatia, with just over 200,000 inhabitants, it's the largest city on the Adriatic coast. Once merely considered by some as transit point, it now has excellent transport connections by bus, sea, air and train. That's why it certainly deserves to be on your bucket list as your next travel destination. A middle-sized European country with a big heart, Croatia is a land of open frontiers, and upfront customs formalities. From the cafe culture of its historic cities to the rugged landscapes of continental Croatia, with a packed calendar of festivals, events and a host of homegrown gastronomic delights, Croatia is a very promising travel destination for your next holiday. Are you ready to pack? Welcome to the Netherlands. Offbeat and very open-minded. A country in the center of Europe, full of beautiful nature, home to vibrant cities, but also an immensity of cozy villages. Everyone is welcome, and feels immediately at home, thanks to the friendliness, generosity and open-minded nature of its inhabitants. If you think of the Netherlands, the beautiful tulips, the more than 1,000 windmills, and of course the wooden shoes or clogs, immediately come to your mind, but it has so much more to offer. Enjoy the bracing wind with a beach walk along the Holland coast. Almost 120 kilometers continuous and uninterrupted shoreline for you to be discovered. If you love cycling, Exploring the Hoge Velu by bike is an absolute must. But also try other places in the Velu region, such as the vast forests, sand drifts and heathlands, or the surrounding villages and compact towns, like Oppeldorn and Rosendahl. There is a large choice of stopping places too, from fair trade regional food to a Michelin-starred restaurant. Experience the welcoming hospitality and the authentic charm of several medieval cities in North Brabant and Limburg. Along the sparkling river Isel, described by many as the most beautiful river of the Netherlands, cities with names like Hasselt, Zvala, and Deventer, lie as beautiful gems. Natural freedom, wide horizons, and Instagram photoshoots. All this can be found in eastern Holland, in the provinces of Friesland and Groningen. Learn how the Dutch have conquered and won the battle against water in Flevoland, or immerse yourself in the Dutch culture. Modern metropolises and historic cities like The Hague, Rotterdam, and Amsterdam, are to be found in the west of the Netherlands. The best part is, you do not have to choose, because all this, and much more, is within a two-hour travel distance. The diverse heritage of Spain resonates from prehistoric caves in the northern region, to the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, considered as one of the most modern, and most spectacular buildings in Europe. See architecture from Roman monuments, such as the first-century Segovia Aqueduct, to channel water from the mountain springs to the surrounding villages. If you're more up for a hike, or even winter sports, the Sierra Nevada area is the place to be. With its almost 3,500 meters above sea level, it is a very popular tourist destination. Its high peaks make winter sport possible in one of Europe's most southerly ski resorts, in an area along the Mediterranean Sea, predominantly known for its warm temperatures, and abundant sunshine. 
At its foothills is found the city of Granada, mostly known for its red fortress, or the Alhambra. A Moorish architectural masterpiece, that served as the Emir's palace. They started building it in the 9th century and it marked its most glorious period in the 13th century. Today it is still the world's best preserved Islamic monument, visited by thousands of tourists every year. Afterwards, wander off into town and get lost in the streets, indulge the traditional neighborhoods and enjoy the flamenco dancers, expressing their deepest feelings. More to the north we find Las Ramblas in Barcelona. A large boulevard, packed with tourists, street performers and Spanish fast food, which runs through the heart of the city center. Although it is often the first landmark that most tourists identify with Barcelona, the Sagrada Familia Church, towers above Barcelona. Designed by Anton Gothi, the Sagrada Familia is the most iconic symbol of Barcelona and the most visited landmark in the whole of Spain. He started the construction in 1882, but upon his dead in 1926, he left his masterpiece unfinished. Renowned architects, to this day, still continue to get his work finished. Visiting Spain means relaxing on one of the many Mediterranean beaches, soaking up its culture, enjoying tapas and paella with friends and family, or even seeing a toreador conquer a bull. Spain, will, enchant you. Number 5 on our list is Italy. La Dolce Vita. This expression derives from a worldwide famous 1960s Italian movie. Many people associate it with a vague idea of the picturesque life in Italy. Google Translate will tell you that it's Italian for the sweet life. In case you wonder, today you're gonna find out how it's like to live a sweet life. Known for its more than 3,000 years old history, in 753 before Christ, Rome, the capital of Italy, located in the center of this beautiful country was founded. In the 15th century, the Italians invented the Renaissance. Caesar, Galileo, Columbus, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo were all Italians. Worldwide, pizza, pasta, parmesan cheese, Italian wine and their delicious gelato or ice cream, have all found their way into our 21st century. Enjoying coffee is part of the Italian culture. Sipping a cappuccino on a terrace of a picturesque plaza, is what real Italians do, every day. Maserati, Ferrari, and Lamborghini, all these famous sport cars found birth around the city of Modena. The Italian Renaissance gardens in Florence, the antique architecture in Rome, how Romeo instantly falls in love with Giulia and Verona, taking a gondola ride on the many canals in Venice or indulging yourself in Naples. All these cities are worth at least a one to two day trip. Drive along the Amalfi Coast, discover La Mafia culture in Sicily, explore the roughness of the Dolomites, make a romantic boat trip to Sardinia, get lost in Tuscany on a Vespa and relax on the beaches of the Riviera. This is, living the sweet life. But remember this, Italians are above all very passionate, and very family-oriented people. La Familia is the backbone of the Italian society. Young people often live at home until they are in their 30s, and when parents retire they often go to live with their children, where the Dolce Vita continues, and Italy, slowly falls asleep. From bustling city experiences to countryside rambles and coastal dips, adventure can be discovered all over England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Welcome to the Brexit country. Welcome to the United Kingdom. England allows you to discover iconic landmarks. From Big Ben to Stonehenge, Banksy, and Bangers and Mash. From the Lake District to the Cornish coast, you'll find natural landscapes, alongside market towns, vibrant villages and a dramatic coastline. The many legendary landmarks, bustling cities and hills, make England an unmissable nation of contrasts. But beyond its beautiful landscapes and diverse heritage, there's a side of dynamism, creativity and rich culture ready to be discovered. Sing your heart out at the iconic Glastonbury Music Festival. Loose yourself in Manchester's diverse street food, cooking up international flavors. Or take in the tranquil vineyards of Kent. The capital is London, which is among the world's leading commercial, financial, and cultural centers. The Scottish Highlands are green, and the culture is rich. Its stunning landscapes, mysterious lochs, misty islands and emerald green mountains, combine to form a country, that's s as unique, as it is beautiful. Where else could you explore almost 750 islands? Or taste over 130 different types of whiskey? Ever seen men in kilts? 
Here you can listen to the sound of the bagpipes, alongside tales of a monster in a lock, a real-life Macbeth and a national Braveheart. Wales has more castles per square mile, than anywhere else in the world. Add to the beauty of the Welsh landscape, its rugged coastline, stunning beaches, lush valleys and mountainous national parks, and the image of this intensely beautiful Celtic country is almost complete. It delves you into a world of dragons, renowned choirs, championship rugby, and some of the most spellbinding scenery Britain has to offer. And last but not least, Northern Ireland has everything from world heritage sites, to real-world Game of Thrones locations. The incredible scenery in the country will inspire you. From the mountains of Mourne, to the Fermanagh Lakelands. From the Causeway Coast to the Glens of Antrim. This country is made for nature lovers, adventure seekers and adrenaline addicts. Get swept up in a world of ancient myths and modern-day legends. From the Giant's Causeway, to the vibrant buzz of Belfast. Stick with us, to discover the top 3. Welcome to Denmark. Once they were brutal Vikings. Now considered as one of the world's most peaceful societies. Besides the many Viking attractions, this northern European country has a lot more to offer. For those who fancy culture, art and history, the Danish host many popular festivals, have many museums and the beautiful ancient royal castles are a real treat. Denmark is renowned for its innovative and world-famous design. Lego, something we all remember from our childhood, to the famous furniture from Arne Jacobsen, and the world-renowned sound systems Bang & Olufsen produces. To top it all off, the Danish can feast from a long list of award-winning Michelin restaurants. Experience the warmth, the comfort and the Danish coziness. Here it is all about taking time to relax by yourself, enjoying quiet time with friends and family, or simply making the most of the little things in life. Denmark's capital is Copenhagen. Known for its beautiful buildings, that mixes royal history with modern architecture. In the last decade, Copenhagen also gained fame for its fashion and the so-called new Nordic cuisine. Noma, one of the most famous and rewarded restaurants in the world, is located in Copenhagen. The cozy city of Copenhagen is distinguished by the surrounding water, colorful old houses, green parks, trendy cafes, and of course the many many bicycles. Bicycles are literally everywhere. They are used for pleasure, commuting, transport of goods, and family travel. In most of the big cities in Denmark, it is often easier to commute by bike than by car. Another city worth traveling to is New Hound. Known for its colorful old buildings, hipster bars and cafes, but also once the home of the famed Danish fairy tale author, Hans Christian Andersen, who wrote The Princess and the Pea. Mons Klint, often referred to as the place where Denmark was born in local legend. If you consider traveling to this beautiful country, it needs to be on your bucket list too. The area is very popular with sailing boats and kayaks. Visiting the first dark sky park in Scandinavia will offer not only spectacular night sky views, but also an unusual illumination of the white cliffs of Mons Klint. Favel, or goodbye in Danish, brings us to the number two country on the list, Greece. Greece is a popular destination, not only because of its amazing islands but also because the mainland offers plenty of options for a memorable Mediterranean holiday. Explore unspoiled fishing villages full of tranquil charm, tower towns, traditional stone-built villages or try the exciting city breaks on offer. Discover the many archaeological sites, learn more about the country's fascinating culture, travel along the spectacular coastline and enjoy its picture-perfect scenery. Greece has a lot to offer from the mainland to all of its many islands. It is famous for its ancient philosophers, like Plato, Pythagoras, Socrates, and Aristotle, just to name a few. Did you know that today's Olympic Games once found birth in Greece? The country has a famous and delicious food and wine culture, and tops it off with beautiful, ancient cities and picturesque islands, that are all worth visiting. Athens. The capital of Greece, but also the historical capital of Europe, offers its visitors a unique experience. Year-round visitors are fascinated by Athens, one of the most attractive and charming capitals of Europe. The Cyclades, the most famous group of islands, include some of the most beautiful islands in the Mediterranean. The charming white and blue-colored architecture. The traditional lifestyle. Island songs, warm hospitality, deserted country chapels, an amazing coastline and excellent sandy beaches. All together they form a harmonious blend, making a trip to Cyclades truly unique. Many reasons to book your trip. 
submerge yourself in the ancient Greek history, or relax and sip from a glass of their delicious Retsina wine. Over the past decade, Portugal has emerged from the shadows. Slowly it has become the number one country in Europe. This southwestern country attracts everyone's attention, because of its mind-blowing landscapes, its delicious cuisine, very affordable prices, and the easy-paced lifestyle. Once a rather unknown country in the corner of the Iberian Peninsula, now welcomes around 20 million tourists yearly. As you probably know by now, it's a tiny country, but that doesn't mean it's lacking in extraordinary spots to visit. Your biggest challenge will be to decide what's the place that makes your heart beat a little faster. Do you like neat and fancy places? Or are you more the free spirit kind? Does the hustle of the city give you a tingle on the tip of your fingers? Or is it the ocean breeze that you crave? Luckily for you, Portugal can cater to all tastes. Lisbon. The charming capital of Portugal, is the first destination that comes to mind, when we think about traveling here. It's a cosmopolitan city with a vibrant atmosphere that can hypnotize anyone that sets foot. The romantic architecture, its proximity to the beach, the long-lasting sunny days, wild nightlife and an exquisite cuisine from around the globe, a finely curated events calendar, and heaps of outdoor spaces with nature, makes it a very attractive city. Porto is the second largest city in the country. It's a lot smaller and the atmosphere can feel more familiar, compared to its capital. It is also completely possible to move around using public transport, as it has a vast network of buses and a mix of underground and surface metro lines. These connect all interest points, neighborhood areas, and even get you to one of the sandy beaches. Did you even know Portugal has a tropical island called Madeira? If you don't, you are falling behind. This unique place has some of the prettiest hikes in all Europe and warm weather all year round. That's what we call paradise. Ready for bikinis and cocktails? Do you agree with our picks? Then start the countdown for more clips soon to come from iDiscover. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.